airport. Many industries have felt the effects of COVID-19, tourism, hospitality, and even the automotive industry. And as PJ Walker explains, some are benefiting and others aren't, but there is help for both. According to J.D. Power, the U.S. automotive industry reported a decline of sales of more than 17% in the first eight months of 2020. Some of those businesses being impacted are right here in the state. We're a small, you know, a small car lot. I'd say we average 10 to 12 cars a month. Jason Thomas is a car salesman at Ron Lohman Motors in Minot. He says initially they didn't see a rapid decline in car sales, but now they are feeling the pinch. The last two months, we've sold a total of five cars. Under state law, dealerships are required to sell a minimum of eight cars to hold an auto dealership license. But a new executive order has suspended those requirements. Now, the North Dakota DOT can renew auto dealership licenses for 2021, regardless of the number of sales. Thomas says without the order, things could be a lot different. We might not be here still. Another dealership in town says they are seeing a change in sales as well, but not in the way you may expect. Overnight, our traffic changed from walking in the front door to the bulk of our opportunities coming through the digital side and the phone. So The general sales manager at Minot Automotive says in 2019, they were selling on average 200 cars a month and they are set to exceed that total for 2020. After the dip in the March and April, um, and then some of the new car manufacturers having some constraints and getting new car inventory, we just shifted to used cars and had some uh, record used car months. So. The winter months are normally slow for car sales, but both dealerships say they hope with another round of stimulus checks and federal income tax refunds that people decide to use their money to ride into the new year. P.J. Walker, KX News. The executive order will expire this Thursday, removing the requirements for next year. Dealers will have to renew their license at the end of 2021 unless another order is signed. The fee for those licenses is $100 and is not waived. For the latest information on the coronavirus in our state, including resources, all of those case numbers again, and prevention, head to kxnet.com. Coming up on